Okay, now let's go to the part four. So in part four, a, we will introduce several uh, improvement in the RSTP. Actually, RSTP means rapid uh, spanning tree protocol. This is a revision of STP. It makes some uh, modification on the STP to make it more fast. So the distance, first we need to see what is the disadvantage for STP. So the current problem for STP actually is that when there is a link failure, they need a long time to recover from the link failure. It is slow to converge uh, and it, this will lead actually severe service quality deterioration. So you can see that if there is a root switch failure, it needs 50 seconds to recover. And if it has a link failure, it also needs 50 seconds to recover. So this is actually a long time. We want to reduce the, the time cost for recovery. Actually, uh, to solve this problem, we proposed the RSTP, the rapid STP. And this rapid STP is defined in L2.1W. This is an enhancement of the STP. Uh, actually, RSTP optimized the STP in many aspects, but the motivation is the same. They want to provide a faster recovery, faster convergence than STP. And they want to still maintain the compatibility of uh, STP. So actually, uh, RSTP introduced several new roles uh, and several new parts. So this is the summary for the improvements. So actually, RSTP processes the configuration BPDU differently from STP. Uh, when the topology becomes stable, the mode of sending configuration MTP is optimized. Also, RSTP use a shorter timeout interval, and they optimized the method of processing inferior BPDUs. Later on, we will talk about the details. Okay. They also change the configuration MPD format uh, and use the flags field to describe the port row. So here is the detailed explanation. So one thing Rapid STP added is that they added two more port rows than STP. So one more, uh, one is the alternate port, another is the backup port. So here, uh, if the port is not root port or designated port, then it is the alternate port. So you can think of alternate port as the backup port for the root port. So in RSTP, if the root port failure happened, then uh, the switch will not wait for a long time. It will directly change the alternate port as the root port. Okay, so here they can recover quickly. And another one is the backup port. Uh, if there are two links connected uh, to the same device, one is the designated port, then another one, the RSTP will set it as the backup port. So you can think of the backup port as a backup of the designated port. So if the designated port has failure, then the backup port will immediately change to the designated port to transmit. So you can see that using these two mechanisms, the recovery will become much more quicker. Another revision is to add uh, an edge port. So here, if a switch connected to a host, then the interface, we call it the edge port. When the edge port is connected to the host, if there are some packets we transmitted, the edge port can be changed from the disabled state directly to the forwarding state without a longer delay. So in that case, this transmission can be implemented quickly. So this is a major difference of the RSTP. So if we uh, summarize the port states in RSTP, actually uh, they have aggregated three different status at STP together. 
So they combine the listening, blocking, and disable together to use the discarding state to represent it. And they only need to change transit from the discarding status to learning and then to forwarding. So it's also, it takes shorter time to transit and it provides less kind of status for the pot.